Yeah. Um, the, so the reason we're moving is the pow box had to be in the middle, but it doesn't quite fit with the stairs being a three by three and it being in the middle and the stairs going up around it. And when you like the pals, when they spawn out of the box, like the big ones would kind of get stuck because the stairwell's there. And so they were kind of having problems like getting work done and stuff. Another problem is we would get raided a lot here and it caused them to like glitch out on the stairs and stuff. They don't like being on the second story. And on top of that, um, there's a, a thing with the game where when you leave a base, basically they stop working if they're like out of render distance. So like having our mining base and then being here and like messing around on this base and building and then like doing stuff like they wouldn't mine. So we weren't making progress. So our old base was working because our, our mine was right down from there. So it was in view distance the whole time. So they kept pumping out iron, but putting a base here and then having a far mining base, they weren't quite grinding. So I wanted to once again, combine the bases, but obviously that iron and coal spot is so good. I wanted to do it there. So that's what we did. Yep, welcome to the castle. So if you'll turn around, this is the courtyard. Well, this whole green area, this is the courtyard. This is where all the iron and coal are and the trees, which also get chopped down and it all gets put in all these boxes. So we don't even have to worry about it. They do all the work. Our guys what have- What in the heck is that thing? This, I got from, we had a, uh, some kind of dragon egg and this guy popped out and he's got like level four fire. He's great. So he's our smelter. So he runs the smelting operation here. So we've oh got- Oh my gosh, can you ride him? Yeah, but not till like 40 or something like that. Oh my god, that's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, sorry. No, you're good. So this is their sleeping area. They get like the first floor. Those are bougie beds. I know. Um, so come here. There's this whole wall you see, we can actually go up on it. And it's like a, like a legitimate castle wall. And I'm actually working on fencing on that side, as you can see. So that'll be all the way around so we don't just fall off. Um, so back this way. I have this random bed here because I, while I was working, I didn't want to run all the way upstairs to go to sleep. So I could just make it daylight. This is our front gate, but we'll go there in a minute. This ramp is really big so that the pals can get up and down. Um, because their pathing is a little weird, they like more space. So this is a bar. It's a little bit outside of the range. So this is mostly decoration. And then you got the medicine thing here. You know, whatever bar medicine kind of works. This is the forging area. Um, boxes are mainly decoration because the chest is here and then the guy can forge. These guys are mining and they mine like crazy. So if this box has rocks, we've got... Ah, oh, I just picked up a bunch of rocks. I haven't even seen this thing before. What thing? Dude, he looks like a prisoner, this one. Because he's standing <laughs> in the box. So it looks like he has the old school like wooden shackles. Yeah. Well, I mean... Well, he's at, mining. Look, Frank Stone. look, look in this box. We have... I almost two twenty thousand stone i believe you all right so this way this is left open so we can get wait come here what i can see so this was left open so we could do the production lines so once because you wanted to build them so i haven't built them so as you yeah. level up and unlock them you can build them and they're lined up right so the sphere production line in front of the sphere bench the uh utility one in front of the two benches and then the weapons one in front of the wench <gasps> weapon one and then in uh -huh. here is the repair and the pal um, crafting station. It's like a little nook. Okay. Also, these guys have four handiworks. If you want something built, grab one of them, which is why they're here. They're great at mining and they're great at handiwork. So they literally just mine the field, put everything in boxes, and if we need to do production, they'll run upstairs and do production for us. So this is like the all-in-one like main base. So up here, try not to look off the ledge yet. Yeah, um, terrifying. Up, up here is our house. Kind of mimicked what I did the first time because I liked it. You've got, you know, like a little study when you walk in, our little kitchen, our backwards beds, we got a little furnace, and then a similar kind of bathroom setup. It's okay because this way, when you sleep, you can look out the window <laughs> at your view. Yeah. It was, it's, it's <laughs> good. You've started a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is our bathroom. Similar build. Should have given us our own bathrooms. Oh, we're married. Uh -oh. oh, no, no, get out of here. Get out of here, bird. <laughs> okay, and then we've got a balcony that goes all the way around if you want to see the views. So then, now you can look down from up here. 
So, so we've got this. Uh, our second base is essentially a bridge connecting our two bases. And this is our, like, ranch. So we've got them all tending the ranch. There's a, a breeding station. And it's everything we need to make cakes for breeding. And then some extra stuff like the lambs giving us wool and the fire chick giving us fire organs. Which we've got probably like a thousand fire organs now. She just makes a ton of them. So we've got honey, milk, eggs, wool, and fire all being done here. They just kind of hang out. They put them in the boxes themselves. Um, so this is the bridge. Look at that view. Huh. Hold on, sorry. I'm looking. Wait, wait, where did you? Oh, goodness. Oh, God. You have a okay. glider, right? You can make it. I had to do a lot of flying and climbing to get this stuff built. Yeah. Where are you? Um, your, your dude's down here trying to light some stuff on fire. Just glide down. Oh my gosh. I can't. I don't have... Yeah. Oh wait, I did get a glider. Yeah, you good. So this is the breeding I area up close. We got three egg things, put them next to the breeding station. All our guys doing their own things. They got their little oasises in the corners. Oh wait, we have a breeding station. Yeah. That's how I got those uh, Anubises. And then There's honey there. on somebody's bed. Somebody's having a little bedtime Anubis. snacky. Um, so this, oh, there's an effigy up there. There is a crack here, and because the way the whoa, yeah, the way this works is it has to basically be over a foundation. You can go like one or two tiles out, but so I had to basically make foundations come out of our base, but then I had to like build walls down and like manually line up the foundations on like the tier lower to make sure that it looked like it lined up. And I did pretty good on this section, but on this one. It had to go like way back over there, and it's just the tiniest bit being off really made it crooked, like way out here. So I had to do like four different levels, like underneath. We can go look if you're interested. But I had to do like four yeah. different levels of foundations, per, like manually lining up just to make this happen. It's not all one continuous floor. Um, so anyway, ramble over. This is the greenhouse and our third base. I used several thousand fiber to put grass on all these walls to make it look all greenhousey. We've got, I don't even know, 10 berry farms, like six or seven wheat and tomatoes. We got this guy stuck who was making us um, using the mill. We got three deer who chop wood all day, every day. And then in this corner over here with the fire is uh, where the cooking is done. So this guy's making cakes right now, and we could set a second fire guy if we wanted to make, like, other food. And it's got giant windows. Well, yeah, with all these resources, you can really have them bulk cook. Yeah, exactly. You could set whatever, a thousand or several hundred toasts and just come back in a while. And yeah, because I like to give my guys eggs instead of the berries So for out and about, and then I like to do the meals. So it does take several resources to make a cake and it takes i don't know several cakes to make an egg when you're breeding like let's just i don't know the number because i haven't tracked it but it's more than one so it's at least two to four cake to breed an egg and then the cakes take like six to eight milk honey and eggs and berries and wheat it takes a lot so all the things we're growing it takes like six to eight of them to make one cake yeah but i don't think that you know, tomatoes. Um, I don't think that it, we're in a struggle. No. And we have 3,000 berries in this box, and I know I just dished out 3,000 to all the other boxes. So I put all the food in the refrigerator, all, like, all the beds. Yeah, we got 1,600 tomatoes, 1,800 honey, almost 1,000 milk. Are you kidding me? I just got here. Lying hyena pal? Hyena pal? I don't know what that is. I don't think they can reach us though, because we're we're not on the ground. The only ground is like the main castle. 
is the is where this all kind of stems from. And then like below us. Yeah, they're up there in the cold mountain. Are they coming to us? <gasps> they're coming to us. They're flying. I said that. Where? They're above the house. <laughs> they're stuck. I mean, we can go just try to kill them for free. I don't have any any balls. Bonded, but you I got, got that, that one. one. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, that's the silhouette over there. The castle. Not in love with it. It was really hard to shoot to even get that shape in the first place. There's not much ground over there on that side. I mean, goodness, Michael, this is insane. South Ho! Make sure you look back at the crazy castle on the cliff. That is insane. Like, <laughs> there's a tiny little syndicate tower and then there's our base. Yeah, they're not on our level.